The Republic of Abkhazia is a partially recognized independent state. Since the 6th century, the Abkhaz Kingdom began to form, closely associated with Byzantium. Since the 15th century, the powerful Ottoman Empire began to press and influence the country, and in the 18th century the Russian Empire intervened in the situation, to protect against the Turks. By the Manifesto of Alexander I in 1810, the Abkhazian Principality was annexed to the Russian Empire. With the transformation of Russia into the Ussur, the status of Abkhazia also changed, either a Soviet Republic, or autonomy within the Georgian Sur. With the collapse of the Soviet Union at the end of the 20th century, conflicts resumed, the Georgians considered that Abkhazia belonged to them, now independent, while the Abkhaz opposed that and the Georgians were driven out of their territory. The territory of Abkhazia was inhabited millions of years ago, and archaeologists managed to find here a lot of stone tools used by primitive people. In more recent history, these lands were colonized by the Greeks, then they were occupied by the Romans and partly by the Arabs. Then, until the 15th century, these lands were part of the United Georgian Principalities. The concentration of centenarians in Abkhazia is incredibly high, and scientists have long been trying to unravel this secret. What has such a positive effect on local residents, until now no one knows for sure, but you will not surprise anyone with a 100th birthday here. Most of the world's centenarians, who have lived for more than 100 years, live here. The two deepest caves in the world, Revkina and Kravavaranya, are located in Abkhazia. Their depths reach 2204 and 2197 meters, respectively, and they are popular with cavers all over the world. Abkhazian nature already attracts many tourists, mainly from Russia, but many foreigners come here precisely for the sake of the caves. From the point of view of international law, Abkhazia is a partially recognized state. Its independence was recognized by five legitimate countries, as well as foreign recognized states. From the point of view of the Georgian authorities, the Abkhaz lands are part of Georgia. This republic demanded independence after the Abkhaz-Georgian conflict in 1992-1993, as a result of which the Abkhaz population was reduced by three times, because many chose to flee. Abkhazia has a lot in common with Russia. A lot of Russians lived here in the Asur, most of whom later left, but the Russian language retained its official status along with Abkhaz. Holders of Russian citizenship to cross the Russian-Abkhaz border do not even need a foreign passport, a rather ordinary Russian one. By the way, there is no money of their own, and the legal tender is the Russian ruble. Blacks also live in Abkhazia. They settled in the vicinity of the Koder River in the 17th-19th centuries, and now live compactly in several villages. All of them are descendants of immigrants from Africa, but no one still knows how the Africans climbed into the Caucasus Mountains and why, in fact, they did it. According to the most common version, their ancestors came from Ethiopia. This is a very sunny region, and the number of cloudy days here does not exceed 120, 130 annually. Considering that most of Abkhazia lies at an altitude of several kilometers above sea level, this entails an increased level of solar radiation. However, the local population, oddly enough, does not have problems like skin diseases, which would be logical to expect in such conditions. Winemaking began to develop in Abkhazia in time immemorial, about 1400 years ago, if not more. Ancient winemaking traditions are still observed here. Now on the territory of this partially recognized country, there are a number of small enterprises producing three dozen brands of Abkhaz wines. And some ancient Roman historians called this area Diaspora, calling it one of the centers of winemaking throughout the empire. It was from here that these drinks were delivered in large quantities to ancient Rome. The most popular fruits here are mandarins, which thrive in the local climate. A large part of the tangerines on the Russian markets are grown in Abkhazia. However, this was not always the case, for the first time these fruits were brought here from Japan several centuries ago. There are many mountain rivers and valuable mineral springs. Moreover, among all countries of the world, including recognized and unrecognized, Abkhazia ranks first in terms of fresh water reserves per capita. 
subscribe to the channel like and write comments